Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the last NHL season preview of the season. A day late because of technical difficulties, but not a buck short, as it's the St. Louis Blues season preview. Please subscribe down below or up above at the easy-to-use widget at the end if you enjoy the content. The former Philadelphia coach, Greg Berube-led Blues, are set for another season as they, of course, kicked it off well last night, beating the Avalanche 5-3, to who are projected to be one of the NHL's top teams in the entire league. So a good start for them. The Blues, of course, last season finished 27-20-9 for 63 points, so obviously they're looking to improve on that, and they have been projected to be a playoff team by the Hockey League and other places coming into this season. So it's going to be interesting to see what this Blues team is able to do and if they're able to live up to those expectations after a down season last year for themselves. It's also going to be interesting to see what the goaltender, Billy Huso, is able to do after being just a meh when it came to backup. Like him and Bennington have a great relationship, but obviously he didn't really establish himself yet as a surefire backup yet in the NHL, so it'll be interesting what he's able to do there, because you obviously want to be able to spell Jordan Bennington some and not have to overtax him to get to the postseason and have him have the most success. Of course, this Blues team has Clem Costin, who you're just waiting to have break out even more. He's um obviously um on the cusp of kind of doing that, so if he's able to do that this year, that will be a huge help to a Blues team that also has a top prospect in Jake Neighbors, who now will be playing. He's a good power forward, going to keep growing into his body more as time goes on, only 19 now. And you have the good veterans in Tyler Bozaks and the James Neals of the world that just know how to play the game, aren't the same players nearly as they used to be, which is good guys to have as leadership in bottom six roles because you already have a really good top six of which Pavel Buznevich is, of course, in now as well, which adds even more offense to that top six with Jordan Cairo, Braden Shen, uh, Ryan O'Reilly, David Perron, and Brandon Saad, who also brings very good winning experience to the team. So I think this team is set up locker room structure-wise very successfully with very good leaders, teams that are from teams that have won and coming in from very good structures like the Saads of the world and the Tyler Bozaks of the world that have been around the block and have just been in good situations and have been in good culture and now are very good leaders from having that experience. So I think this is a team that structure-wise is put together well and on the ice it'll show, and that showed last night in their first game, and I think it will show in the regular season. When you look at the Blues, they even have a pretty good, uh, obviously you guys have a pretty damn good defense. You have Toy Krug, Justin Falk, Scandell is a very good defensive defenseman, Colin Paranko is a very good defenseman, Jake Waldman still developing, so we'll see what he's able to do as time goes on, and then Robert Bertuzzo is just a good steady Eddie defensive defenseman, and then you have Nico Mikula, who did a did play all right when he had to step up last year's plus minus wasn't great, but we know plus minus isn't really a singular player stat that can rely a little bit more on the team there. And then you got Scott um, Karunovic, um in the minors, who's close to coming up as well, but he hasn't played a competitive game since skating off NCAA ice, obviously last year. So it's going to take him a little bit, but he is 23 and he's a guy that seems like he could establish himself into the defense as time goes on. So you have a good defense developing here. You have uh, also some guys that have experience when it comes to the AHL level if you were to have some injuries. Like you have Steven Santini, you got Callie Rosen, and you got Tommy Cross. So you got guys there that you can use as depth. But obviously you want to be able to see what Perunovic is able to do when he's able to come onto the ice. And that's someone as well as Mikola that can kind of mix in with the Jake Wallmans of the world or others if there was going to be defensive issues. But I think the only thing with this Blues team is you got the good goaltending in Jordan Bennington. Yes, he didn't have the season you would fully want last year, but he still showed some good signs. I think he will have a good season this year. Obviously, you started off with a good win last night. So I think that's going to be a good season for him. The defense is going to play well, and the bottom line with whoever's with Bertuzzo will play well enough to be able to get you guys here. I think the only issue with this team when you look at it is... Maybe you can look, but Robert Thomas, I think, is going to be a very good bottom six scorer. Plus, you got um, also you have Ivan Barvashev, and you're going to have Vladimir Tarasenko right now projected to play on the third line. So I think your bottom six scoring is going to be fine. The only thing when you really look at this team that's a flag potentially is the backup goaltending position, which is very important, especially when you have a guy like Jordan Bennington who plays like he's on 150 level every single time 
even when he's not successful, he's overly aggressive and always. So he's going to tire out quickly if you're playing this man in like 60 something game. And that won't be as successful just like when the Bruins started getting really good backups and that worked the best for Rask. It seems like Bennington's in that field. Get him a backup that will work the best for him and then he'll have the best success in the postseason, in my opinion. So it's going to be interesting to see if his best friend in Villa Huso can develop into that or if the St. Louis Blues are going to have to go out and get a backup goaltender. Obviously, rooting for Huso to develop into that, but if he doesn't, the Blues are going to have to figure something out so they're not overtaxing Jordan Bennington and doing what happened to Cam Talbot in Edmonton oh so years ago and what happened recently, obviously the effects of Martin Jones after being overtaxed without having the ability to have a good backup. So I think that's the only bugaboo when you look at this roster. Other than that, they should be projected to be in a playoff spot. You have the Sodge of the world, you have the Bujnevages of the world, and you have Tarasenko now, who's not even in always going to be in that top six role because you brought in the Bujnevages and the Sodge of the world. So that even adds even more depth and potential scoring down the lineup to your team. So I hope you all enjoyed the St. Louis Blues season's preview. Please subscribe down below or up above if you enjoy the content. Have a good season, Blues fans, and good luck this season to you, and enjoy the rest of the NHL season. Peace out.